Hey guys, welcome to the Noah's Ark Visitor Center renovation project. And as you can see behind me, if you've seen the old photos, the building's a different color. Today is the painter day. We have the team of painters here taking care of the inside and the outside where there are no wood panels. So we've uh, selected a gray and off-white paint combination and they're taking care of all the hard work and I'm doing the fun stuff again. <laughs> and so let me give you a quick tour of what's going on and so you can see for yourself. Thank you for everyone's support and prayers. Um, we are probably a little over halfway through with the phase one of this project. And so we're still looking for a financial help, obviously, to take care of some of the small things inside and some of the bigger things like the electricity in the main room. Um, but thankfully we have people who have donated for like the 85 inch TV, uh, the tiling, the bathrooms being done, the sewer lines, and so um, the backhoe, all that type of stuff was all taken care of by a couple special donors, so thank you guys so much. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little quick tour of the work site right now, and you'll see what's been going on today and over the last two weeks, and see where we're at with the project. So come along. Hey everybody, we are here at the Noah's Ark site and just want to give you guys a little update about the work. You can see the building's a different color. Today the painters have arrived and they I think are finished on the outside already. And we're going to go inside and see them finishing up some of the inside rooms. You can see the lighter color. We're still deciding on the rocks. We might make them like a black or basalt dark gray rock but 
you can see the uh, paint job. This was all, uh, these are all new walls right here. And we'll have the donor names on these walls right here, thanking everybody who's helped with this project. And as we go inside here, you can see the new doors on each side of the entrance. For this one's for storage. And then this one is the pump and water tank because they do have low water pressure here in the summer months when the spring dries up. So this is where the water pump is. And then here are the main doors. We will clean them up and replace the broken glass and replace the signs. As we go inside, you can see they're painting the entryway here. And you can see the guys here at work doing a great job. Let's we'll keep going on through here. We're going to walk over here into the main building and we're going to go to the left and you can see they got the primer coat on and this uh, first door here on the left side is the media room and they got it all painted. Um, this window will be closed. This will be behind the TV right there. Uh, we just figured out how much of the acoustic padding we need and um, the carpet. So, and we obviously have to order chairs um, and the speakers. So if you would like to help with the media room, by the way, we have a special donor who paid for the uh, 85 inch 4K flat screen TV. And that TV is on its way already. So thank you to the donor for all that generous support. Very uh, nice of them to help out. Cause that's gonna be where people can come and listen and watch um, different videos about Noah's Ark. We'll have one made like that's a 10 to 15 minute video and I'll give them a good introduction of the history of the site, the research, the story of Noah and the flood. And now the next room over is the kitchenette we built for Nuri. Well, the refrigerator will be here, storage for food. He can make chai and coffee and whatever other things for the tourists and anyone else who shows up. You see the rooms all tiled. They're still um, finishing up this area. And now we're back out into the main area here where we will have, uh, we have a different design of posters we're gonna put in. It's gonna be about, um, Oh, I forget the length, 480 centimeters long. So over four meters, I believe, and then 250 centimeters high. So we'll have two rows of posters, double-sided. They'll explain the Noah's Ark story, the, how the site was discovered, the research from the 70s until today, and so people can walk around and um, the see in print and examine close up the photographs, the uh, radar scans, whatever else and so yeah and then we'll have tables on the outside here uh, of the posters but inside the building so on the outline areas we'll have tables for tourists to sit out here until we have an outdoor cafe made ready probably by next year for now people can have their chai in here and we will put some tables outside when the weather's good and people can eat outside um, you can see that we actually have some chairs out there right now um, yeah and then there's the boat Okay, we're going to give you a tour of the, the new restrooms. So we're going to go over here to the water closet. And you'll see everything's been uh, tiled already. The ceilings still have to be painted, but they're making their way this way. And so over here, this is the men's bathroom. We have everything set up already. Uh, we've ordered the mirrors, the soap dispensers, and the last minute things we need for this room. And, but you can see the toilets and turn the light on. We have the Eastern style toilet, the hole in the ground. And we have, oops, somebody's in there. I don't know if I turned that off on them. Hello? <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyways, let's continue on. You all know I did it because I hear English. And then here's the women's bathroom. And um, same thing, we'll have a Western style toilet and an Eastern style. And um, I don't know why they make the women's bathroom smaller, so the same size might just be the building design, but anyways, it is what it is. 
And so we'll then go out back to the main lobby here, a little lobby where you can get your tickets to come in. And we go back out to the main entrance where the tourist will come down. Now we're still working with the local authorities to get this paved with like cobblestone so it doesn't get all muddy when it rains out here or to um, put cement or asphalt. Um, we'll see, probably cobblestone they said. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what's going on. Here's just more of the building. We got some tourists here. Let's show you where we're, where they're doing the painting here. And you can see the outside has been repainted. And again, this stone, we're deciding about it. Um, if you would like to help with this project, come visit our website, nozarkscans.com and visit the um, Visitor Center Renovation Project area. Uh, you can make a one-time donation through the website or through our partner, Downey Thomas Research Foundation and DTRF's donations are tax deductible for Americans. Um, but yeah, we appreciate everyone who support the project already. So we have already had a couple donors pay for the sewer, the tile work, the um, painter, um, the um, indoor plumbing, the new bathroom renovation, uh, the walls, um, all that all that was all paid for already. And so we still have a ways to go for the rest of the stuff and the little things here and there. So we still need your support. And we thank everybody for the prayers too. This is a very important site. We believe this is the buried remains of Noah's Ark and that it deserves a world-class visitor center and so we're doing our best in phase one to renovate it and use the existing facility without changing the building too much to save money and just get it all ready so that tourists can enjoy um, uh, sitting here, relaxing and looking at the, the boat formation down below here and thinking about the story of Noah and the flood. So here's another view of the outside. It's been repainted. We do have to fix um, a little leak in the building at the top. There's a window area, like a skylight. And they told us it's still leaking even after we tried to fix it last year. So need to do a better job because winter will come and water will ruin that wooden floor in there. And we'll see about these rocks. I would love to put basalt facing on it or dark type of stone you know this is kind of a dark gray stone here but uh or a black stone and i think that'll go well with the light gray and off-white paint uh, this stone was great for the previous paint job which was more of a tan paint so maybe in the future we'll change that if you think it's ugly and you want to help us <laughs> contact us and we can work out um, the pricing on it for now um, it's uh, on the low priority so we'll have a new sign right here by the way and it will say entrance <laughs> and we'll have the hours on the door and Nuri's phone number for those who show up and if he's not around yet but the new sign for the whole building it's very special we're so excited about this it's gonna go on this end so as you drive up you'll know for sure that you're at the Noah's Ark Visitor Center it's gonna go on this corner and it'll be lit. It's gonna be a big sign. And it'll be lit at night or in the evenings uh, for those who show up and just uh, when we have special events up here. Obviously tourists don't come up here at night, at least not yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll open a campground here. But um, at any rate, um, it'll, be, uh, uh, very much, it'll be a very much needed sign that you can see from the road. And there's the road right down there the uh, turn, as you make that turn, you'll see it. And for even further down as you drive up, you do see this building. And so that will enable you to um, see right away. So this new sign will go right here and it'll be a well-lit um, big sign that you can see from the valley floor maybe, but definitely on the road up you can see. And it's gonna be called the Drepanar Noah's Ark Visitor Center. And then it will have a URL, a special website just for the visitor center. So people, when they look it up or they want to tag it in Google Maps or in social media, there'll be a site location for this. 
and uh, with all the information about the visitor center. And so, yeah, that will be the sign right there, the new one that we have ordered. And it's on its way. Thank you for the donor who paid for that. Um, and so as you drive up the road, especially when you go around that corner right there, you'll see it right away. We have a pretty large, I want to say it's three meters long. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I forget. We did the measurements. It basically fills in this whole corner. Um, and so, yeah, that's what, that will be the sign there. And um, as I mentioned before, over here at the entrance, we'll just say like welcome or entrance or something. And we'll have a lot more security lighting around. Right now, there's only one little light at night up on this uh, electrical pole. But uh, we have already selected the spots for five more floodlights that will light up the place at night. Uh, in the past, we've had uh, probably kids, but you know, break windows or even break into the building. Obviously, now it'll be a little different because the doors have been fixed and things uh we'll have nuri sleeping here on site so that people don't break in and ruin what we've done inside um anyways that's about it